Now we're going to look at images. So how do we drag an image into a page? And how do we edit an image? And what other options are open to us? Okay, so um, grab an image box if you want to put a new, new image onto the page and drag it to where you want it. So it can go anywhere in the page, in either in a small column like that, above the text, below the text, in the text if you want it in the text, or alternatively to one side or whatever. So we've put it in the text here. So you can see the text effectively is in, in the same box as the image now, or the image is in the same box as the text. Now you can change the size of that image still, as long as the text box gets bigger too. Um, you then add an image. So click on the image box, click on that box and then add an image. Or you can move the image box somewhere else. Okay, so let's move that box outside the text box, but next to the text. So it's going to be, oh, it's above the text there. We can drag that around. So I'm just basically now moving around the spaces that were there. And we've got three columns there, as you can see. So I want to, I want to um, delete those spaces so that I'm reducing the columns down to, uh, down to one column. Okay, so the image will expand into that area. So we've now got a full width image uh, in the website. Click on the box and then upload an image from your computer. So um, I just need to find something suitable. So that's a logo, one of our logos. So of course the image will be inappropriate for the website, but I mean, it's it's an image at the end of the day. So we've imported it and you can see it's dropped in. It's a big image sat in the middle of the website. So we can change its size by going down and grabbing that little blue dot and we can reduce the size of the image. Okay. But the image box is still the full width of the website, but the image is smaller. So at the moment, we've just got a small image there. And um, if I put the text up next to it like that, you'll then end up with two columns. Now I can drag that line again, shift and drag to the image so that I've got a small image next to text. Okay. If I drag it further, it'll make the image smaller. So it'll only go to the point where the image will start to reduce. I want to make that image bigger, I give it some space and then I drag it back out again to make it bigger. Okay, so those are the basics on how you change the size of the image on its own, the size of the text and then the size of the image and the text together. Okay, so you can play around with that until you're happy that it looks good. So again, what I suggest is you set the text boxes and the images and the galleries and everything else, put the text in and then afterwards start applying things like alt text, which I'll talk about with images in a minute, and also things like hyperlinks. So adding in hyperlinks to your web page, which is what makes your web page a web page and not just a catalog. So when you click on the image, you get options. So you can replace the image. So you can click on any image on your website and replace it. Lightbox means that when the site is published and you click on the image, the image gets bigger. Uh, a line just aligns the image within the image box. Uh, spacing puts space around the image. So you can have a top margin, bottom margin, left and right margin, and it'll move around depending on how much space you put around the image. So you can either use space around the image or you can bring a spacer in to do the same job. Okay. So sometimes it might be better to have the, use the space around the image and other times to use a spacer when you want to make it uniform across the page. Okay, so you've got, um, you can set your space around the image to make it how you would like it. Then um, what else have we got? Um, yeah, you can align, then you've got caption and advanced. Advanced, so you can put a border around the image. And you've also got alt text I mentioned earlier. So by default, it's called picture. You want to describe every image on your website as to what it is. So if it's a chocolate chip cookie, put delicious chocolate chip cookie. 
And the reason you do that is so that the web browser looks at the images, which it can't see, and realizes the image is re relevant to the website. If the website is about chocolate chip cookies and all the text is about chocolate chip cookies, then it makes sense that the images should be too. And that's important for SEO. So uh, make sure that you do that with every single image you've got. Um, you can put borders around the image if you want to or not. You can choose what you want to do. With this one, it's a transparent circle. You don't want to border around it. It'll look weird. Um, you can move these boxes around while you're working so that they move out of your way. Now, on images, you can put captions on images. That might work sometimes. Um, I don't think captions look great on, on Weebly images, but you can default the text and the style of text in themes again. So if the initial caption doesn't look great, you can look at your themes, look for captions text at the bottom and change it. And if you delete the caption, it won't show. Okay. Then editing image. You can edit the image off-site and then import it, or you can do some very basic editing here. So you can, you can crop a larger image to be what you want to include on the website. You can move the angle around of the image like so. You can mirror the image if you want to. Um, as I say, you can crop down so that you've just got part of an image if it's only part of an image you want to use. You can have a square image, you can have a 4.3 image, or you can have a widescreen 16.9 image. And then you can go back to original. Okay. So you can play with the image. It's all very basic stuff. So the best thing to do probably is to edit your image in uh, picture editing software. And then once you're happy with the image, import it. The other thing to remember when you're importing images is that you want them to be good quality, but you don't want them to be huge files because if they're massive files and they take a lot of loading, then you're going to slow down the loading of your page. So just think about that when you're loading images, video or anything else. The more you load the page up with data, the longer it's going to take to load, the, sh the slower it's going to be and the worse for Google ranking is going to uh, going to be as well. So, uh, right, so we'll get, discard those changes. If you've got another image, those are images together. Basically, you could click on any of those and you could change those images. So you don't have to drag in boxes for every image. If there's an image already there, just click on the image and then change the um, change the image itself. Um, so what I'm doing here, I'm just playing around with that image and its size. So you can see we've got two columns there now, um, one with a spacer in it and one with an image in it. Okay, see you in the next video.